What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new Civ 6 or Civilization 6 video. Today we are going to be playing Jadwiga of Poland, that's right, my members have voted on it and they want me to play Poland for the first time ever on this channel. Uh, considering they're one of the OG Civs in Civ 6, pretty surprising I haven't played them yet. Their ability is Lithuanian Union, meaning my majority religion becomes dominant in cities that lose a tile to a, Pol a Polish culture bomb. Uh, that's not really going to help us too much. Holy sites get major faith adjacency from adjacent encampments. Relics provide bonuses golden liberties just culture bomb tiles when you build an encampment or fort and a military slot is converted to wild card that's going to be helpful early on meanwhile we do have the winged hazard so if the ottomans are in this game we just automatically win but it's a renaissance unit era that replaces the corsair pushes defending enemy units back from their hex in any tile where they score more damage and if defenders can't retreat they suffer more damage and suki units is a market replacement i think giving me gold and production for trade routes so this is a pretty crap start right like this right here is just an an absolutely atrocious start but i think i can make this work here are all the mods i'm using by the way just quality of life mods as usual and uh this is the seed for anybody who wants it covering over it right now oh my god i'm about to sneeze <coughs> oh my god okay let's, i think we're gonna move up there and settle the city Oh my god, I'm feeling just terrible right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go for like a religion this game. I'm going to put an encamp... Nope, not you. I'm going to go for a culture uh, domination type of play style. I am going to do something unique for once. Let's get the encampment right there. We'll also get the holy site right there. And we're going to go for the desert folklore pantheon. And then we're going to go work ethic for our religion. It's going to be nice. So I am going to go astrology first. And because of that, I am just going to spam build units until I get that. Just so I can be somewhat sort of defensible. And I also have a new strategy strategy for barbarians i do have the clans game mode on and i think what we're going to do is we're going to spam out as many units as possible as we do get a natural wonder that's pretty nice that is the mal tapila that's going to give us production and faith that would be a really good spot for a petra city if i can get it but uh we do have a secret society on i'm not going to do anything yet I'm just going to hit next turn. I want to get Void Singers if I can. We'll go get that Tribal Village. Irrigation got boosted. That's nice. That is looking like a really good Petra City, though. There's Mexico City. Someone's already met them, though. So that is kind of a problem. I'm going to send this Warrior Southwest. I was going to build the Petra in Krakow, but this seems like a hundred times better because of all the hills it has. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're definitely building a Petra, and that's a really good campus tile, actually. Uh, we'll loop around, and then we'll go ahead and take out the encampment, probably with the Slinger as well. That's going to be a problem. We're going to have to immediately blitz that thing chinguita's already been met that does kind of suck this guy's about to go back to his encampment so we don't have too much time to take it out we could go for bronze working fairly early on and i think that's like a really good idea but for now we're just going to move in there disperse the clans suck at barbarians there's owls of minerva uh and there is writing boosted this guy um you're actually just going to go back and explore up north i think that warrior can handle it uh for now we have astrology i'm going to right now i don't want to go for an early war this game i know insane i'm going to go for archery right now and uh, what towers are you working that that tile and that tile. It's actually pretty good. We do have an envoy towards who? Mexico City. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to take Amani and put her in Mexico City right now. What does Chinguita want? Mysticism. That's fine. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, because it is deity, they're going to be right beside them. But let's continue moving up there. There is Rough Rider Teddy. That's exactly what I expected. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to make a trade deal with Rough Rider Teddy. I need money. What would you give me? Oh, you don't want to. Okay, this is dumb. This is stupid. Okay, Teddy, you know what? I need 75 gold. So I would need 10, 20, 27 gold. So I want 27 gold for two gold per turn. Would you be willing to do that? Uh, maybe one gold per turn? No, two gold per turn should be fine. No, wow. Three? Three? All right, we're going to have to do that, and then we're going to actually go ahead and get started on that holy site. Work ethic's going to make this a very good production sim. I'm just telling you guys, no more streams on this channel, unfortunately, as we do get a pantheon. Where's Desert Folklore? Somebody already took Desert Folklore, and I am mad right now. Uh, can we get Religious Settlements? Of course not. What can we get? We don't have any appeal, I don't think. I think maybe River Goddess? I think River Goddess is the best one. Amenities and housing, and this this guy's immediately going to get like a lot of amenities and housing. What's the profit looking like? I'm literally the only one making great profit points, so I'm going to switch over to a settler, but I'm going to keep an eye on that. For now, though, where are we going to settle? I think settling... Is that Reef? That is a Reef. So putting a nice city right there, along with an absolutely 
gorgeous campus tile. Oh my god. And then declare war on us, I don't think. I hope not at the very least. What's Great Profit looking like? Someone's making Great Profit points, but they're only making one per turn. And religion-wise, nobody has a religion right now. Um, Cool. Where's this next city going to go? I do want a lot of production, and I do think I want to push this city out as far as possible just to secure uh, my region down south over there. Uh, and then you're gonna move in like that. I'll probably move the warrior back to defend him. And I think I'm just gonna go one last holy site prayers because I want to ensure I get the first religion and get to pick my beliefs. Uh, you're gonna move in like that. And then we obviously want to put holy sites near rivers because two housing and two amenities is absolutely disgustingly strong. Uh, you're gonna move... I think I'm out... Uh, 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 that's the thing. There was a scout over here, a barbarian scout. I'm going to move this warrior up north. We're getting suzerainty of a youth yet anyways. Who's putting a governor in there? America, for some reason. Do they have an envoy towards them? Someone has like six envoys towards uh, Zanzibar, so there's definitely somebody down south. Let's keep exploring. If barbarians spawn, that's going to be a problem, though. Uh, there is a youth here. We're going to get some nice air score. Let's try to get a golden age. We're going to get a religion, no doubt about it. So I think I'm going to go one more turn for holy site prayers, and then I think I'm going to move this guy towards Chinguida, for, a, for, again, the first suzerain founder bonus and some exploration. So that's two era score. I don't know how much founding a religion is, but I think we should be able to secure the golden age. Yeah, you see that, Scout? We got to make sure uh, we got to make sure we don't, like, the Slinger deals with him, I guess. But that uh, Euthia's unit should be able to help. Uh, way too long, I think. We're just going to go settle that city then. We do get a great profit, and actually we're going to be able to get a golden age anyway. So we go. There's Simon Peter. We're going to found the religion and immediately switch over to settler production. Religion-wise, uh, let's go for... There's lots of elephants nearby, so let's call this elephant... Toddy. I don't know why I said Toddy, but I think that would be cool. We'll get a religion. Uh, shrines and temple provide culture due to their faith output. That's pretty nice. Reliquaries, relics have triple faith and tourism yield. I might be going for relics. It's, I want to go work ethic, but I know that's not the best idea. Feed the world, maybe? None of these really stand out to me. Am I the first religion? I think I am. Oh, I completely made a mistake, of course. Again, oh, I made... Oh my god, this is... <laughs> religions are rough. Elephant Toddy, I think we said it was. Okay, um, nothing here is anything to, I think I might just go feed the world. Work ethic isn't going to help us. We're not going to have like amazing adjacency or anything. Jesuit education could help, I guess. I think I am just going to go ahead and stay with feed the world. I know choral music could be nice, but I think feed the world is a little better. Um, after that, I think I'm going to go world church for culture. I think the more culture we get, the better. Um, there, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to go world church for culture. Okay, I think that's fine for now. There's Feed the World. We're going to want to get Shrines eventually. Uh, you're building a Settler. We are going to get a Golden Age. Oh, we're secured one, right? Yeah, we are. So I think right now you're going to get a Shrine, actually. For number one, you're going to get more food out of that. And number two, we'll be able to Faith by like 90% of our Settlers. But there's Swift Talk. That's cool, Swift Talk. We're going to want... Uh, we're not going to get Suzerainty of Zanzibar. Are they the Suzerain? They are. So that probably means nobody else is... Oh, two people died in Krakow. We're not going to get early empire boosted, are we? In any case, you're just going to work that tile. And I think... Okay, if you work that tile, how fast... Okay, no, you already are working. Okay, that's fine then. Let's go ahead and immediately found the city of Poznan. That's cool. Uh, we're going to now go... I could get a holy site, and that would right there give us a lot of... You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to want to spread our religion. Again, I want to go for a culture victory. Uh, that's a promotion. I'm hoping that eventually... No, you're dead. I was going to want to get boost to bronze working, but that's not going to happen. Uh, how am I not making 18 for faith per turn anymore? What happened? I don't know. I was making 18 for some reason. <laughs> Let's go colonization instead of uh, urban planning, I think. You know what? Urban planning's just too good early on when my cities have no production. We'll do that, and then we are actually going to go for monumentality. Yes, so I can buy settlers with faith. That I think would be really, really good. 150, that is kind of expensive, but we're going to get the shrine eventually. Not to mention that, ooh, actually, this might be a preserve type of game. That would be a really good place. Like a preserve there and then a preserve right there would be really, really nice, I think. But let's actually, right now, we could go for Void Singers. I don't want to go for Void Singers yet, I don't think. I think I want to go Magnus and put him in my capital and then get his second promotion. So actually... I think we're just going to make a beeline for early empire or state workforce, and then we're going to do something like that, just so we can get political philosophy early on. Uh, where are the... There are Cursair replacement. I thought that was my unit for a second. So it should be, like, really far into the tech tree, right? I think Cursairs, it's cavalry. I think Cursairs are... Where are my winged hussars? Where are they? Uh, I'm an idiot. Where are the winged hussars? Am I dumb? Where are the damn... I know they're supposed to be in ballistics. 
Where do I find... Are they in the culture tree? Wait a minute. Where are the ones nearby? Man, I don't know what's going on with my nose. I don't even feel sick. Uh, let's... What do we go for it now? I think we're just going to go Classical Republic. Really is nothing else to go for. Our Winged Hussars are cavalry, so going for the Legacy Bonus for Oligarchy is not really going to work too much. We'll go here, plus two influence points. You'll move up there, and I think down there we'll actually go ahead and put in... Uh, let's go God King, I guess. The more faith we make, the better. Yes. And then this trade route, you're going to be... We could go to Washington. I think I'm going to go to Krakow for food and production. Yeah, look at that. That's really, really insane. And we even get currency as a boost. That's good. Uh, you're actually going to probably just move in through there just to make sure America's forces don't come nearby. We are Susan of Chinguita still, and they burned that city down. Probably wasn't able to keep it with loyalty. That is something the AI likes doing, burning cities to the absolute ground. We got the shrine in Poznan. We could go for the obelisk. I don't think that's going to... You know what? That is going to be important because we get four faith out of that. That is going to help me faith by a lot of settlers. And considering we're probably not going to get back-to-back -back golden ages, that is probably probably uh, big for us. I think right after you finish that, you're just going to go for the audience chamber. I don't have a builder in this city still. Wow. Um, train a galley. No. Recruit a great writer. I think I'd rather have Suzerainty of a Euthia, especially with the building things. I might actually remove Chinguita because I really don't need Chinguita anymore. Yeah, I think I'm actually, I'd rather have a Euthia just so when I build like stuff like the Old God Obelisk, I will be able to get like some culture out of it. But let's keep going. We do have that settler moving in down. So that's an active volcano. I don't think that's the best way to travel by that. Hey, you know, we're actually going to get Suzerainty of Chinguita anyways. Yeah, that envoy like puts us and we don't need a money for that. In three turns will be Suzerainty of a Euthia. There's an encampment right up over there. I would expect nothing less from Civ 6 AI. Uh, so let's go ahead and go take that guy out. He is a half moon clan. I don't know what exactly that entails, but I don't think it's going to be very good for us. Go ahead and settle that city. I'm not going to set disperse the encampment. Just do it. They're not going to be able to kill me. We're going to be in a dark age, it says. That might not be the best thing in the that might not be the best thing in the world, I don't think. Oh, I killed my traitor! Oh, I should have seen that coming. Should have just killed this guy when I had the chance. Uh, it's fine, though. You're going to go there and wait. Although, I am kind of scared about the flood that might potentially... If I lose a settler to a flood, I'm restarting. Don't even care. Uh, we're going to be able to get some holy sites or uh, theater squares right now. I think that's the move. Um, it's built just in time. We're going to immediately get started on the Petra because this city is going to be insane with the Petra. And we should have actually faith bought the builder. I don't think we could have, actually. Let's go... Um... I think pen, brush, and voice, because that's going to give our obelisks a little bit more production, I guess. You're going to move over there and settle that city, and the next turn we'll be able to settle everywhere. And then we can actually go ahead and probably try to get suzerainty of the Mexicans, or Mexico City, sorry, I don't know why I said Mexicans. Uh, let's go for, I think, isolationism right now. Ooh, can't buy settlers, that's not very good. I think I'm going to go try to get a little bit more gold. Yes, we'll do that. We'll start catching up in science soon, especially after we get the uh, government promotion chorus. Uh, you're going to go, let's try to make that me. I highly doubt it, though. This is going to be melee, probably, which will allow us to probably do four there and one there. Let's try to get all uh, government passes. That's good, that's good. Very good, actually. And then now we do have that perfect, so now we settle the city and get free builders everywhere. We had three cities uh, by turn 90, and we're going to have a lot more by now. Why did you not get a builder? Wait, what? No! I built the wrong building. I built the wrong building. Are you kidding me? I really built the wrong... That's insane. Um, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. That is just so... World. Uh, I just don't have any campuses. And I really don't want to build any campuses. I want to try going for a no-campus strategy. I'm going to be experimenting this game. Um... Ooh, surplus logistics is going to provide a lot more food to Lublin because uh, this trade route's ending in my capital. So get that mine. 30 turns until the Petra. I'll try to save up money and buy another builder. And then we should have bronze working by that time and we should be able to buy some, uh, chop some of those tiles. Here now, you could go for a temple. All that culture from the temple. Oh, because you're on another religion. That makes sense. Okay, then. Well, you're going to go settle that city over there. And I think it's time to start uh, spreading my religion solely because of all the culture we could potentially be getting. But I do think I also need a temple. I need a lot. I need a lot. For now, I just want to ensure that I do get the Petra right there, I think. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, all these cities are going to convert any Anyway, so you move there, you move there, we have to just, okay, you're going to stay fortified until the next settler comes out. We have to convert all oh, this city of uh, Christianity. Latoro declared war on Pedro. Pedro's not looking too good this game. Pedro's not feeling too good. You're going to convert that city. You're going to convert this city. 
Uh, let's go ahead and convert a Euthia now. I think the eight population in a Euthia should help us convert the rest of our empire fairly quickly. I still want to get Poznan. Oh, we should probably convert Poznan, actually. Solely because they are going to get a temple, so we can start buying apostles in that city. Lost suzerainty of a Euthia. That's actually, that's not good. Uh, okay, that doesn't have anything to do with us. Didn't kill my missionary, so I don't care. You're going to move in like that. You're going to go ahead and begin trying to convert these guys. Here and I are going to get the obelisk. We are going to be able to get a lot of gypsum in this city. And then here, I think going for a better idea because horses still go for a lot of money right now. Just look at all the money we get from that. All right, now America. I really don't want to be freedomized by America this game. So maybe, you know what? Let's get friends with America. We're not declaring war on them for like 100. Oh, that's not good. Delegation? Friends? That's not good. Settled near them. Okay, I think if we give them, like, a really good trade deal, I'm not declaring war on them. I, okay, if we give them, like, uh, like, I don't know, maybe 100 gold, that should give them, like, the favorable trade deals, and the next turn we should be able to make uh, friends with them. But let's go apprenticeship right now. You're gonna go ahead and settle that city. I'm still pissed I wasn't able to get the free builder because of my uh, stupidity. Uh, but you're gonna go get that horses so we can trade horses, and then you actually have to work on food. I don't know what you're trying to do, but you gotta actually start growing real quick. Uh, you're gonna go settle that city next turn, and then we will hit next turn. Cool. Uh, here now, you are going to actually go ahead and begin converting this city, and then because I need the city converted so when I get the temple, I can just buy apostles in the city of my religion. Cool. Uh, would you... Okay, you are able to convert it, and it is green, so that's good. You're gonna chop out the Petra. That's good because we get more production now, and you actually might as well just work that tile, and then we'll go get a pasture up there, I think. You're gonna settle that city of Kaliz, that's fine. Uh, Obelisk, I'll have, I'll be able to trade away my stuff in case that the, in case these guys I do start attacking. The barbarians I'm talking about. Your promise broken, that's actually, oh, that's not good. That's not good. They got grievances against us. Um, their military isn't that strong, so it shouldn't be the worst thing, but I don't want to have to risk it, I don't think. Okay, you're not going to go and get a pasture up there. I don't know where these guys are going. Okay, he's trying to go back to San Francisco or something. I don't know. Once we get the Petra in Lublin, we should be very, very good. I do want to see if I can get a Golden Age, though. I think we should be able to, especially if we convert more Ah, I should have done the conversion thing. I should have done the conversion uh, secrets. Not secret society. I should have done the conversion instead of pen, brush, and voice here. That's, that's just dumb. I've been playing terrible. I'm, I'm going to blame it on being sick, even though it's probably not the case. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to be blaming it on me being uh, pretty tired right now. Appeal-wise, there's lots of jungle here, and that is a problem. That's not going to help with appeal let's start getting some theater squares though yeah i'll start getting some theater squares up and i think we'll want another builder in that city how long 12 turns till the petra that's okay you're gonna go ahead and get me a builder and then you are going to go get that pasture what if i do actually get more units but they're gonna declare war very very soon i think i'll promote this guy we'll give him i guess i'll give him translator here it comes oh wow i'm so shocked yeah, I knew they were doing that. I knew for a fact they were doing that. Gdansk is going to be a problem, though. Uh, can we buy... What, what's the best unit we could buy? We could get a man-at-arms if we got some sort of iron. Uh, I think what we're going to do... Hmm. All right, this is definitely a problem. But you're going to do turns. That's fine. Let's go ahead. You know what? Let's go make sure he converts in three... Wait, could you still evangelize the belief? I think he might still be able to. Uh, go back to Krakow. We're going to get the Petra next turn as long as nobody steals it. Oh, yeah, it decided to attack my dude. What an idiot. Oh, they got Pikeman now. Maybe I'm the idiot. But there's Petra. There's Petra right over there. He's going to go move there. Yeah, this city's now looking absolutely incredible. We're going to get an archer real quick. We're gonna, Hey, who wants the Diplo favor? I know the Lator, I know Latora loves Diplo favor. Oh, don't you. Uh, you're going to get that. Again, he is also at war with Brazil. And Brazil's combat strength is pretty strong right now. I don't want to trade any more horses. You're going to do that, and then you're immediately gonna buy myself an archer and our mili yeah he has 109 military strength that is almost nothing go get elephanti and then you're going to okay here now we got to take out this warrior i think it's a warrior come on it's a literal warrior you're kidding me there's no way we're not gonna be able to take out this warrior this is insane this is insane we're gonna have to sacrifice that archer then let's hit next turn uh you want iron that's perfect that's perfect. We can now get a man-at-arms if we have enough gold. And this... Man, the AI is making so many mistakes. I love it. Uh, duplicates. Let's try to get this to be gypsum. I highly doubt it. Let's try to get this to be... Uh, ranged, I think, is the best idea. They have a crossbow, but I think it is ranged. And gypsum grants no amenities. You'll love to see it. Let's get serfdom instead of colonization because I think that settler just built. Yes. Go settle that city. 
you're going to go ahead and promote to garrison, I think. You're moving up there. You're staying fortified for a turn just to heal up a bit. You're going to get a temple, but more than anything, we desperately need a builder in my capital. I still have not built one the entire game. You're going to get a granary, and then I think... Okay, no, that's not my... Okay, that's fine. We're going to get another military unit, and our military strength should be comparable to this guy very soon. He has a crossbowman right over there, and with garrison, I do absolutely nothing to this guy. Okay, that does make a lot of sense. He can move and attack my guy, so I'm going to hmm, move there, attack... Wipe him off the face of the planet and then hope this guy doesn't move and attack my guy. He's going to move and attack. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, you're going to move in the city. You're going to attack this guy. You're going to move in through there. And then we have to get, like, money somehow. Yeah, I don't really want the horses anymore. No open borders either. Diplo favor, maybe. No one wants anything. No. Okay, maybe next turn we'll be able to do something. Is that a hill? That's not a hill, I don't think. Yes. And, uh, okay, we lost the city, but I think we should be fine still. We'll harvest the marsh. Get the farm. Should be okay. Wait, no, we can upgrade this guy to a man-at-arms, I think. Hey, it's even better. Oh, that's not good, though. Yes, please, emergency. Please, emergency. Oh, there's, uh, she said yes to the, someone said yes to the emergency. They both said yes, I guarantee it, the emergency passed. Who's he at war with? The entire damn planet, that is who. Look at that, that's perfect. You have like five total military units. I don't know who's part of the emergency. You know what, let's get, um, yeah, nobody else joining would really be beneficial, I don't think. But uh, you're gonna go get that farm. You'll be, I don't think you'll be able to upgrade, actually. Let's evangelize the belief. What belief are we choosing? Um, I think we're going to go for, we could go for Gadurwa still. The housing might be strong. Uh, Crusade would be good for the Wing Tazars. I think I'm going to go Crusade for the Wing Tazars. Go Crusade for the future Wing Tazars. You're moving in like that, you're moving in like that. This guy moves out of the city, he dies. It's just that simple, I have too many archers. Alright, you're going to go and then we'll continue attacking that city. You're going to move up as well. I don't, he might be able to, he probably does one shot my units actually. You do that and I need to know, anybody want any elephants? I don't need the loyalty. I need to buy a man-at-arms. It's not going to help. Uh, that that might help. And that's not going to help. She has no money, I don't think. Let's hit next turn. We need four arrow score, actually. Ooh, you know what? You know what? Evangelizing the belief is suck my thing to do. And then you are going to evangelize one last time. Research-wise, you got iron working. We're not going to just make a beeline for metal casting. We'll go military engineering into metal casting. Choose a belief. You know what? The Gradurwas might just be okay. I think I might go Gurdurwas or Mosques, maybe. No, no, no. We'll go Cathedrals, I think. We'll go Cathedrals for the extra slot. Uh, you're going to stay fortified in the city. We'll hit next turn. We'll get some iron, and then we'll wing Tazar away to victory. The emergency is still a go, and winning the emergency does give us a lot of stuff, though. You're going to wipe out this guy, and then you're going to defend until the city heals. You'll move up there, and as long as they don't get walls next turn, we should be okay just in case we're gonna start moving and then just pillaging everything let's hit next turn let's see if he gets walls this turn or not i'm hoping it's a no hoping it's it is a no it is a, this guy knew he was dead so he decided to move out of this oh actually that's okay move then we can i think attack the city so attack you make sure the city's zero because it is pretty damn strong attack take the city back city of gdansk is back and uh we are going to win that emergency and then you're going to attack uh, you're going to attack, even if I lose all these guys, I'm okay with it, I think. Uh, you're now going to stay fortified. Okay. They're even gonna lose Chicago, because of Chinguita, that's perfect. We're gonna wing Tazar away to victory, I think. Uh, let's hit next turn now. Not the best game, I'm not gonna lie, but we are not giving up, because I ain't no bitch. Uh, we're gonna get a builder in this city, and, uh, there it is, emergency over. You guys can piss off, I don't even know what I got for the emergency, let's see. 100 Diplo favor, and I heal in his territory, just to assert my dominance. We're gonna go defend Lublin, just in case, because these guys should be able to finish this dude off. And then, do we make peace yet? Uh, we have a lot more military than him. I think we can make peace for a lot. Give me everything. Give me everything. Give me everything, you absolute bitch. Give me... Oh, he's not willing to trade iron. Horses? Horses? Horse? Give me all the horses I can get then. I'm, you, you know what? I'm getting these horses. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it... Oh, perfect. I'll take that deal. You're actually about to get winged his art of death anyway. He's already dead. He just doesn't know it. Uh, this builder here, I'm just going to go ahead and start to spam building farms, I think. There it is, some error score. We'll just get farms everywhere. We're going to get military engineering too. Thanks for keeping the peace on the continent. <laughs> ah, it's ironic. Uh, let's keep going though. He is still at war with like everybody, so I think I should be fine still. Uh, you're going to keep moving, and I think I could trade away another luxury. Can I buy any? No. 
But uh, they're all willing to get my... Oh, yeah, because gypsum's literally worthless right now. Uh, you're just going to fortify there. You're going to go get another farm up there. And then get me a third farm up there, I think. We got walls in San Francisco. Let's move up there and get... We're actually lucky, Gadong. Hey, you know what? These are all really good tiles to work. Just get me a granary right now. Uh, here now you're just going to begin converting this city. It's still Catholicism, even though it's about to be Elephantani. And if it's Elephantani, if it's my religion, I think it gets, um, it actually loses more loyalty, I think. I think that's how it works, fairly certain. Go get me that rice over there, that should help, and then we'll hit next turn. Uh, is this even his religion? I think it is his religion. Might be his religion, I'm not too sure. Uh, there is that and that. We're going to get stirrups soon. Let's go convert Chinguida now. That shouldn't be too hard, I don't think think go and get me another farm yes that's a lot of food we're going to be getting lots and lots of food that should help with loyalty i don't want to take out mexico city though just just saying i hear in Boston, you just finished that that's perfect get me an archaeological museum and then we will actually i don't want to buy the library but i will faith buy a, another apostle i think yeah i'm just going to start faith buying these guys as much as possible we do have the secret society chorus so the more faith we get the better actually so let's go ahead and get me more more faith, more good things, and then you could get a corporation, I think. Just so we could go ahead, trade this away, give me that, that's perfect, and then you're gonna go keep building those farms. You have two charges, we should be able to convert Chinguida, and Chicago is dying in 11 turns. Uh, now it's not dying in 11 turns. Let's go ahead and make friends with uh, Brazil, that's good. I do want to make friends with the Toro if I can, because I'm there, oh no. Where? Uh, that's that's perfect that's way too far away to bother me uh you're oh that was uh not good i didn't want to move you down there but i guess i'll convert you to Ooh, martyr we're gonna want relics as poland especially so we'll get martyr i'm actually gonna get lumber mills just to keep the adjacency on that uh that uh holy site give me more food convert the city and it's now elephantani that's good and then we're just going to actually use this guy now i'll convert him and then i'll use his last charge to uh kill himself i guess uh, go convert that, ah, uh, you know what, probably, probably go convert America first, I think, yeah, we'll do that, we're making 90 culture per turn, not enough in any way, shape, or form, oh no, that's another, okay then, uh, you're gonna have to go repair that campus, yes, no doubt, uh, go ahead here, and I think probably just get me a temple for food and stuff, we do have some niter over there, and I think we actually have to get a builder right now, we'll get a builder, we'll get that niter, and then if we could just get like one bombard, I think should be enough, I think, here we'll actually uh, buy the granary for food, and then you're going to go ahead and get yourself a builder. Lots of potential food in here. We'll get lumber mills up there, like I said. Do not want to give up uh, the adjacency for the holy site. But let's keep going right now. 48 science. You're going to go get that sweet niter tile right over there. I know the appeal is going to go down, but it's worth it to get some bombards. Uh, move up there. Another lumber mill. Shocking, I know. My city of Lublin is looking absolutely amazing, though. Look at that. Just incredible. Give me a mine up there, and then I think we might even need... Actually, we have more than enough iron to get winged Tazars. Uh, we can't get... Okay, we can get a knight, because that's a heavy... Oh, no, it's going to immediately change into a winged Tazar. You know what? Let's start building the army. We'll get some winged Tazars right now. You're going to move there, and I guess just get that camp, and then it's time to start building up the army that we have for winged Tazars. We're going to get gunpowder soon, I hope. In fact, Latoro... Okay, Latoro has walls everywhere. Never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, repair the Archaeological Museum. You're going to also go for Knights, which will turn into Winged Tazars. You're going to move in through there. We'll get a Pasture. Good. Uh, you're going to get a Mine up there. I don't need any more Iron, so I don't think building Iron is the best idea. Why do I have 20? Oh, because Knights cost Iron. Okay, then. Do I get the Iron back? No. That was a mistake, then. Um, cool, I guess. Uh, Production-wise, I think we're just going to go ahead and go for Reformed Church. Good. Uh, you're actually, okay, they're still losing this city, that's fine. Um, I think I'm going to not get, okay, we'll get, get another Niter Mine up there, I think. Okay, then. How long until I'm able to get my, okay, we're getting Bombard soon. It says own two crossbows. Not going to happen, not anytime soon. I'm just really worried, shut up, timer. I'm really worried about Latora right now. I am really worried about them. Uh, let's make this, uh, cultural, I hope. Let's try to make this me- and then we'll see if that works. I'm really afraid of Latoro right now. Uh, I think, okay, there's Divine Right. How how much would it cost for me to buy a Winged Tazar? A thousand gold. Wow. Okay, let's go to Washington right now. Let's get a military alliance with Pedro. 
everyone declares war on him. I know it's just the fact that I don't want to have to go to war with uh, these guys by myself. We're not going to do that. We'll hit next turn. You're going to get the Niter Mine real quick, and then you're just going to go and uh, begin converting the city of Charleston. Let's hit next turn. It might be coming this turn even. If it comes, I have to get some money somehow. No, but they are definitely trying to do something to me. Latoro is, so we're going to try to get as much money as possible. Yeah, the gypsum now goes for a lot, so we'll do that. How much do horses go for? You're willing to give me the most, and then you're willing to give me something, I guess. Uh, let's try to... I want to get... Okay, we almost have enough money right now, actually. Let's try to... Oh, yeah, he's really funding my defense. That's funny. Uh, anybody else? You're willing to give me the most. And then I, ju I don't need that much more gold, I don't think. Okay, and then we might even be able to buy a Wing Tazar this turn. Open borders, maybe? Nothing? You're willing to give me something. Uh, what about 10 more horses? No. What about 2 Niter? Really not going to change much. And is that enough for a Wing Tazar? I need 10 iron. Oof, I traded away that iron. Not going to be doing well. Can I, can I buy some iron somehow? Uh, strategic. Iron. Yes, he's willing to give it to me, but it's for gold. So I think we're going to make a deal with him. I want this to just be 20 iron, and I will actually give you some other stuff. I'll end the video soon. I think I'll give you Diplo favor, maybe? I don't want to give any money. I don't think that's the best idea. We'll give you Niter, then. Wow, really? What about elephants? Screw it, we're just going to give him some elephants. I only need a 10, I think, anyways. That will give me enough to not buy too many. Oh, yeah. You move out of the way. We'll go ahead. Buy a wing Tazar. That's perfect. And I think we still lose to the cavalry. How? Because we're in a golden age. I am so screwed if this guy declares war on me. If I don't post a video tomorrow, that means I got absolutely banged by these guys. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it right there. We'll try to go for a wing Tazar rush. This game is uh, not looking the best right now. But I think we have come back from very far behind. I might actually just go for a religious victory this game. It does seem to be the easiest. But if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Huge shout out to my members, Cash Christian, Ben Ombi, John Blair, Jackson Perez, Polaris Gaming, Empuerium, Jeff Utzler, Kim Cosmos, and a really special shout out to my Oh My God subscribers, Robert and Overflow of Amenities.